everybody. Welcome back to Christ and Coffee, where we help you cultivate relationship with Christ. My goal with God is to help you develop your relationship with him outside of all external factors. So today we are talking about how God sustains us. And I really, really like this scripture because I literally felt like that's what God was speaking to me, that he is sustaining me even in the middle of the storm. And sometimes we all have this perception um, that God is supposed to just pick us up, scoop us up like Superman and get us out of there because he is supernatural, because he has supernatural power he is able to come in and should because he's an all loving all caring all good god he's supposed to come in and sweep us out of the mess we got ourselves in or sweep us out of the attacks of the enemy and sometimes god doesn't allow us to just completely be removed from it sometimes he keeps us while we're in the middle of it because the greater picture is not so much in god's ability to just take you out of it the moment it becomes uncomfortable to you it's god's ability to keep you in the middle of it so you can attest to his faithfulness and his goodness. And that is what I'm currently experiencing in my life. And so when I think about the word sustain, I had to look up the definition. There were like eight definitions for it, which I love. They all were just boom, 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 hitting on points. But um, I boiled them all down to three points. And the first point is he will bear your burden. He will help you bear your heavy load. And I, I love that because the Bible says that we can cast our cares on him for he cares for us. Um, there's even a scripture, um, Isaiah 53, 11, It says that God will bear the burdens of our iniquity, that he has already bore the burdens of our iniquity for us, right? But in our circumstances, God will help us to bear the heavy load of life. The Bible says that he will not put more on us than we can bear. So even when things get heavy and hectic, God will swoop in and he will help us lighten that load. He will help us bear up those burdens so that we can handle it. Because the testimony is not in the fact that God came and got us out of it immediately to the point that we didn't experience it or don't even really have any context to share about our circumstance or our issue, right? But that that God keeps us while we're in it, right? He helps us to bear those weights. The second definition or the second thing to define sustain is that God will suffer with us. Um, I talked about um, Chandler Moore's um, album Feelings in my last update video and just this idea like that he mentioned that God will suffer, that we will share in Christ's suffering. So um, God will help us in our suffering. Life can get hard. We can end up enduring a process that is, seems like it's supposed to be just a couple days, but ends up becoming a lifetime issue or becomes a, a issue that ends up being a little longer than we expected. But in the middle of it, God will keep us and he will sit in that uncomfortable space with us. And I don't think we really realize the sacrifice Christ made. Now, we have to really kind of walk through what Christ experienced when dying on the cross. Not even when he died on the cross, but just throughout his entire life and ministry, right? He was ridiculed. He was humiliated. He was lied on. He was mistreated. He was abused. He was verbally and physically attacked. He felt neglect. He felt abandonment. He felt shame. He felt guilt. All for, and he didn't even do anything, right? He really was just simply being God within human flesh and coming to save the world. But people humiliated him and made him feel bad. Like they, they publicly hung him on a cross like a criminal, spit on him and mocked him. If that's not humiliation, shame, he was unjustly treated, persecuted for, um, for a crime that he didn't even commit. Like, he went through a lot of the stuff we go through individually. And the crazy thing is that Christ took on all of that stuff at once. Like he took on all of those things at the same time. We only get a piece of that suffering. We only get a small part of that. We don't even fully experience the full extent of everything that Christ suffered. 
And yet, even in suffering these things, he relives that suffering through our pain. He relives that suffering when we are enduring it here on earth. And I think that speaks volumes to the goodness and the faithfulness of God. So God sustains us in the fact that he sits with us in those awkward, weird, uncomfortable, humiliating, frustrating, shameful situations. And the last thing when it comes to sustaining, God supports us and he affirms us. And and I, when I was younger, I used to have very, very distinct, vivid dreams. I used to do a lot of spiritual warfare in my mind. And maybe some of you will understand it. Maybe some of you won't. But my dreams and my uh, the prophetic warfare that I was dealing with in my sleep were serious. And I used to wake up. And I used to be so frustrated because I'd be like, God, why do I have to fight these things alone? Why don't you ever scoop in and save me? Why don't you ever come and rescue me in the middle of this? Or why don't your angels just come busting down like, oh, yeah, you got you now. And I had to realize that in those moments, God was affirming the woman of God he called me to be. He was already present within me and gave me the strength I needed to combat the enemy. And even if he wasn't physically present, that doesn't mean, or that I couldn't see him, it doesn't mean he wasn't present. And it doesn't mean that I didn't have the host of heaven backing me up in that warfare. And God had already put his Holy Spirit inside of me. So when I spoke a thing, the power of God rose up out of me and um, pushed the enemy back. And I had to realize that I carried a lot more in me than I thought I did. And I wasn't just a weak human just hanging around, but God had empowered me with his own Holy Spirit to be able to fight off the enemy in the capacity that I needed to because he knows that what he put inside of us is enough to get us through it and that's something I had to realize because even in those demonic warfare situations and in those dreams God sustained me in the midst of it he kept me he supported me he affirmed me and showed me that what I have placed greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world whatever I'm looking at is not greater than who I serve and who lives inside of me which is the Holy Spirit which is Jesus Jesus Christ. There are certain circumstances that life will put us in, that the enemy will attack us on, that even God will strategically allow us to walk into. And depending on the circumstance and depending on the, the strength and the ability and where we are mat um, in our maturity with Christ and our relationship, God will either bear the burden he will either suffer with us and sit in it with us, or he will support us and affirm us as we work through it. But either way, God is sustaining us no matter what challenges come my way. God is always present and he will always sustain me in the middle of it. So I really, really hope that this bless you. Um, I really hope that you're encouraged like I am. So, um, with that being said, let's pray that God continues to sustain you while you're in the middle of it. God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, to just share. I thank you, Lord God, that you put this in my heart and that you reaffirmed this throughout my week, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're keeping our mind. Um, even now, God, I pray that we will put our mind on you who will keep us in perfect peace, God. I thank you, Lord God, that no matter what the enemy tries to throw at us, when the weapons form, they don't prosper. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, your spirit raises up a standard against him. Greater is he, you, God. God, that is in us, God, than he that is in the world, the people of the world, the enemy in the world, God, you are greater than all these things. And when we have you on our side, if God be for us, who then can be against us? So I am so thankful, Lord God, for your support, for providing us, for us, for keeping us, for helping us through the suffering so that we don't uh, go wayward, so that we can endure these hardships like good soldiers and that you're keeping us still on the track to purpose and um, our calling. I thank you, Lord, that you're helping us to bear our burdens, bear the weight, Lord God. I thank you for the privilege to even be able to share in your suffering, Lord God, to even have the opportunity to share in your glory, God. I thank you for each and every person that is watching this, that they may be encouraged to know that you're keeping them in the middle of it. You're providing for them. You're sustaining them. And you've already anticipated the end, which is a successful, good outcome for their lives once they reach the end of this thing, God. And I pray that we'll stay 
stay anchored in you, Lord God, as you keep us, Lord God, in our life. God, I thank you. I love you. And I pray that your will will be done in each and every one of us. And, G and I come against the enemy's attack on our mind. I come against the enemy's attack on our lives, on our family, on those who are connected to us. We plead the blood of Jesus even now. We come against you, devil. You have no rain rule or, or any of that in our lives. We are covered by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus and you have no power or no say. We don't live in fear because God has given us power, love, and a sound mind. We cast that spirit of fear, anxiety, depression, suicide, sickness, um, regret, shame, guilt, condemnation in the name of Jesus. We come against all of those things. They have no reign, no rule over our lives. And I pray, Lord God, that your will will be done in each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Woo! All right, y'all. I can't wait to see you on next week. Comment below if uh, this bless you, if you are in a season where God is sustaining you like the season I'm in because it's the sustain for me, guys. But he's doing it, all right? So love you guys. Can't wait to see you next time. God bless.